Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jame. At tonight's Central Wyoming Rodeo, someone set an arena record. But it wasn't the adults. It was a kid. We had our two best mutton-busting rides of the week tonight. First up is John. Check out this little guy hanging onto the side of that sheep. John gets fallen on, but he's a tough cowboy. He's all right. 86 points for that young man to finish second. And he even gives a wave to the fans to top it off. The record-breaking performance tonight came from seven-year-old Bailey. She pushes every button on that little mutton. Bailey's going to ride that sheep clear out of the arena. The crowd gave her a standing ovation, the loudest applause of the entire night. Bailey scores a Central Wyoming Rodeo record 95 points. She's officially Little Bo Peep to those sheep. <laughs> Our big cowboys and cowgirls trying to keep up with those performances. We start with the bareback bronc riding and many people in the stands watching their first rodeo. That includes the women on wheels. They're an all-women's motorcycle riding group. Also revving his engine was Cole Reiner from KC. You might remember Cole won the short go at this year's CNFR with an 84 and a half point ride at the Casper Event Center. Tonight, he scores a very respectable 77 points and he's picked up by his Casper College coach, Jet Johnson. Cool moment for them. Bozeman, Montana's Wyatt Bloom scored big tonight with 82 and a half points on a horse named Hope Floats. He'll keep his hopes alive for the short go on Saturday. The past two nights in tie-down roping, we've seen a cowboy cartwheel and a cowboy ankle breaker. Tonight, another weird one. The calf parks its tractor right in that cowboy's barn. Chase Richter gets a two-step partner he didn't ask for. Here's a former University of Wyoming cowboy, Jake Pratt. And look at this run here. Slightly more conventional than the last one, string and tie. Jake turns in a time of 9.2 seconds, which puts him first in the rodeo. But the bad news is he broke the barrier. That turns his 9.2 into a 19.2. But the crowd still cheered on their former poke. You don't need to see that one again. The Saddle Bronc Riders almost topped the performance of the Mutton Busters. Here's Shorty Garrett on classic equine scandal. He's putting down almost 86% of his rides this year. Tonight, another good one, 82 and a half points. He pumps up the crowd. He's sixth in the rodeo. Cole Elshear was second best in tonight's go, and the crowd let him hear it because he went to Gillette College. Cole turns in an 84 and a half point ride for second in the go, third in the rodeo. But then Hillsdale, Wyoming native Brody Crest stole the show, looking like he's glued to that saddle. Brody is a former NFR average champion and reigning back-to-back -back Cheyenne Frontier Days champion, but now his mind is on becoming the Central Wyoming champion. He's well on his way with an 87 and a half point ride tonight. Good for first in the rodeo.